It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here. The reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for any time in December. Okay, so you know, timing is fluid, and this reading may or may not be for you. So, what do we have for Gemini? Him taking a vacation, physically or mentally. So you may be taking yourself a little vacation in the near future. Maybe that's exactly what you need. I guess we'll take those, huh? Ooh, basket, recognition, recognition, reward for merit. So you may be getting some sort of uh, reward or recognition. Ooh, carrot, opportunity or windfall. So this looks real good. It looks really, really, really good. So, hmm. Uh, recognition, opportunity or windfall. You're going to be getting some sort of new opportunity in the very near future. Looks, looks good. Obviously some recognition, reward. Okay. Messenger. Messenger. Really pay attention to your messengers. You may be getting a message on messenger or a messenger is going to be giving you a message that helps you out in some way. My phone just rang. Interesting. Oh, wonderful. Uh, skilled player. Skilled player, so you probably do have to be careful here. Maybe you're gonna win something. I mean, it could be a big win here. You know, maybe you're gonna win something. You have an opportunity or windfall. I mean, you could also have a skilled player that is uh, after you in some way. Listen to your intuition. You are highly, highly, highly intuitive at this time. This is the highest wisdom, the highest intuitive wisdom. Owls also symbolize change. Okay, they symbolize death. Death is change. So profound life change. Really observe. Okay, this is looking right at that skilled player. Use your senses, use your intuition. Okay, maybe you need to become a skilled player. I mean, hey, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, right? So, I do feel like you need to really, 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 really need to listen. You need to listen to your gut, okay, uh, during this time. Make sure you play your cards right. What do we have for Gemini? I got a picture of my mother right here looking at me that I, I look at quite often. Whoo! Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So you do have a soulmate here. Could be a skilled player. <laughs> Takes one to know one, right? Anyhow, um, what else do we got for Gemini? Okay, we're gonna use this deck. What do we have for Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Yes, this is, you're gonna be receiving a message from somebody, you're gonna be communicating with somebody. There's gonna be some recognition. <laughs> Highly, we have a highly intuitive individual here. Okay, I think it's you. The devil. Mm, first card out. Somebody, this is in the past, so this is breaking free from a toxic situation. We got somebody here that is reaching for the light. Okay, they're reaching for the light. They want out of a situation that is toxic, that is unhealthy. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do that. It's an addiction of some sort. You need to break free. Need to break free from this toxic situation. Somebody is reaching for the light. They want out. They want out. 
Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is truth. King of Pentacles reversed right underneath that skilled player card. Wow, you're dealing with somebody maybe suffering financially. This person may be unstable, insecure. Um, could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. We have Capricorn a couple of times. Does not have to be. It could be anybody. They're, the King of Pentacles reverse is somebody that typically is not really invested in a relationship. They're more interested in money uh, or, or their career or their job than they are a relationship. You know, the Ace of Swords is the sword that cuts, okay? It's right next to the devil. So somebody may be cutting themselves free from a toxic situation. You could be dealing, I don't know if it's a Capricorn. You have Capricorn a couple of times, doesn't have to be. Um, it's a very unhealthy, codependent situation. The Ace of Swords is the sword of truth. It's the sword of power. It's an epiphany. It's a wake-up call. Communication, that is right underneath messenger. <clears throat> Really pay attention to the messengers, you know, whatever they are, if they're social media messengers or something, you may be getting a message from somebody, somebody is delivering you a message. Uh, King of Pentacles reverse. This is maybe somebody that is shallow, uh, greedy, selfish, materialistic. I mean, the devil is toxic, could be lust, greed. We definitely, I feel like we have some greed here. I do feel like we have some greed here. Hero font reverse. Whew. Uh, controlled by a father figure or somebody that is questioning their authority. There is somebody here that is questioning their authority. They are under a lot of social pressure. They, they, they don't have a lot of faith. They may be not very religious. Don't listen to their gut. Um, doesn't really want commitment, not commitment material, um, not committed, not faithful, unfaithful. There may be somebody here that's not faithful. I don't know if you're going through some sort of separation. I mean, that soulmate card, but soulmates come into our lives to teach us a lesson. Okay, doesn't mean that they're going to be with you forever. That's a misconception. <clears throat> Temperance. Temperance is a card of change. It's a card of evolution. So I wonder if there's going to be some sort of change. This is a card of timing, going with the flow, accepting, allowing, managing feelings. You're going to need to manage your feelings. You're definitely going to be receiving some information, whether it's an epiphany, could definitely come from your gut. Maybe you haven't been listening to your gut. Maybe you haven't been practical. Maybe you haven't been grounded. Could be somebody else that you're dealing with as well. But the, but the temperance card is a card of change. It comes after death. So there is going to be a change and a need for healing. You know, so th there's a time of healing that is needed, okay? Because temperance is is healing is needed okay we definitely have somebody here that is very greedy they are, they are under a lot of social pressure and they have a hard time um, maybe with their obsession maybe have somebody here that is obsessed you know they they have some sort of maybe it's ob obsessive compulsive about their money or their job or their business or their career or something like that Temperance is a card of change, evolution, purpose, reason, timing. Six of pentacles underneath the devil. Fool reversed. Page of swords. Tower. Wow. Underneath the Hierophant reversed. This is something like... I don't know, against God's will. Tower is a major disruption. Somebody has abused their power in some way. Hierophant reverse. This is uh, no faith, major disruption. We definitely have a messenger here with the Page of Swords. 
This person is going to tell you something that is going to cause disruption. It is it may even be an internal disruption. It may have something to do with a father or a marriage partner. We have uh, Sagittarius, Taurus, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, quite a bit. Uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This may be the person that is delivering the message. We also have Aries. Um, we have foolish behavior. We have foolish behavior that whatever somebody has done something reckless. There may be, I don't know if they were unfaithful or they uh, were selfish and greedy. Um, Six of Pentacles is about give and take. It's about reciprocation. It's about um, getting what you deserve, what you, you reap, what you sow. So somebody is going to be getting what they, what they deserve. Um, fool reverse. That is stupid behavior. It's, it's uh, headed for a fall. Somebody is definitely headed for a fall. There is a person here that has got some information that is going to be revealed about this individual. This individual is very, very selfish. They're not really committed, um, unstable. And if it's not about a relationship, which I think it is, because Hierophant is like a marriage commitment, whatever. Um, this may be have even have something to do with religion, but there's instability here. Somebody is unstable. They're insecure. They're... Uh, there is some truth that is about to be revealed. Somebody's reckless, foolish behavior. Somebody has done something stupid and it is about to be revealed. This may have to do with sex, maybe an addiction, you know, or somebody is tied to a toxic trauma bond, which we talked about the other day. Um, maybe they've been going back and forth with this toxic connection. Uh, one more card. I feel like there's ties that are going to be severed. Emperor, emperor taking charge. Temperance, temperance is above it. So, te okay, temperance is a card of change. This is somebody that takes charge, that takes the lead. This is a leader, a protector, a father, a boss. Um, making a judgment call somebody is making a judgment call there is definitely a disruption here an internal disruption or there's something to do with the foundation that is crumbling this foundation is crumbling it's crumbling fast i feel like we have an individual that is butting in they're butting in they're saying something there this is a, it could be a troublemaker with the page of swords uh this person is is causing upheaval they're causing upheaval with the relationship this person may be jealous um Maybe they were looking for reciprocation. Maybe they don't get reciprocation, you know, and boom, here comes the storm. Okay, boom. Tower is definitely, definitely, definitely a boom. Okay, it's a major disruption. Get prepared. Expect the unexpected. Expect the unexpected. We do have a masculine here that is about to take charge. This person is, it feels like they're ready for a change because temperance is right above it. It's time. It's time for a change. Um taking the lead this is a protector this is somebody that is putting some plans in action this is somebody that is in a position of authority that is going to be um taking an opportunity of some sort we got the knight of pentacles on the bottom this is a golden opportunity to build a foundation this is a planner this is somebody that puts in effort so somebody is going to be putting in effort they're going to be taking action this is somebody that that takes a slow and methodical approach that plans their next move it's time there's some sort of timing here so somebody some of you are going to be needing to go with the flow with that temperance card you need to allow things to happen as they should um there could definitely be some sort of disruption that has to i don't know if this has to do with a commitment or a father figure or a boss it's definitely a masculine here um, somebody has been unstable. Maybe they've been in a commitment that is unstable. They were holding on to that commitment because uh, they were being foolish. I mean, this fool card reversed is foolish. Um, headed for a fall, poor judgment call, reckless behavior, truth being revealed. Uh, somebody's been giving to somebody else maybe i don't know if it's money or what if it's not money they've been giving their attention to somebody else foolish 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 
message is going to be revealed. This is somebody that has something to say. Uh, they don't, they're coming forward. They're going to come forward fast. This is a person that has no fear. It's like, ha, 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 ha. This person is kind of malicious. Um, they're, it's almost like they're trying to cause a breakup. They're trying to cause a breakup in some way. Um, it is going to cause disruption. It is definitely going to cause disruption. This is a major life event. There is going to be a life change here. No doubt about it with that owl card and the tower card. This is a, this is an event. It's force. It's universal force. Hierophant reversed is, is disbelief. You may be in disbelief over this upheaval that unfolds. We have somebody here that has been, uh, this person's going to be testing their waters. They've testing the waters. This person has been uh, reluctant. They've been reluctant to change, but I feel like there, a change is definitely coming. I think it's forced change. I think it is forced because the tower is forced. This message that comes through is going to reveal some sort of truth that causes upheaval in a foundation. Anyhow, Knight of Pentacles is a golden opportunity. Somebody is going to be securing an opportunity. They're going to be securing an opportunity that brings them peace and harmony because temperance is about peace and harmony. Okay, by, by allowing it to happen, by no longer resisting the change, so there's, I feel like there's been resistance, but this is a change that is much needed. I feel like the universe is breaking somebody free from an unhealthy, toxic situation with some sort of truth that gets revealed about an individual that is greedy, selfish, uh, ungrounded, unfaithful, whatever the case is. Um, Knight of Pen or King of Pentacles reversed. Next to the page of being caught off guard. This person is unfaithful. There's somebody here that is unfaithful. Or they are greedy and selfish in some way. There's a false sense of security here. The false sense of security is crashing. This is crashing to the ground. And this may be a commitment that is crashing to the ground. It's no real commitment. Or there's... Because it's the Hierophant reversed with a tower underneath it. That's false. It's a false foundation. It's a... It's not really commitment. We have somebody here that's not really committed. They're not committed to this false sense of security. Um, there's definitely going to be a change. It's exchanging, like I always say with the temperance card, it's exchanging something lesser for something better. Making a decision. The emperor is a decision maker. This is somebody that is in a position of authority that is making a decision in regards to their balance, their harmony, you know? This is definitely upheaval and chaos, okay? Um, whatever this, 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 play, this, there's a person here that is the catalyst to this change. This person's got something to say, okay? And they're going to say it, which causes the fall okay the fool reverse is a fall and the tower is a fall okay so there's there's a fall here and there is a fall it's a fall from power there is a fall from power here somebody um there is definitely a fall from power there's there's somebody here that may not believe in god as well they don't think they don't believe they don't believe that you know what goes around comes around they don't believe they don't they lack integrity you know they don't believe that uh, well, there's heaven and hell here. So there's like hell. There is hell. There is because the devil is upright and the Hierophant is reversed. So there's hell here. There is definitely hell. Um, strength reversed. Strength reversed is held back by fear, no courage. Force. There is definitely forced change next to the temperance card. We have somebody here that may not be able to restrain themselves. It feels like they're ready. I feel like they've been held back by fear. Um, a need to let go of the fear and just allow and accept. Somebody needs to accept that it's time for a change. There's definitely going to be a change. A false sense of security is crumbling. It's going to crumble fast. Really, 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 really fast. This is, 
this is a shock okay it is with that tower that is a shock it's a shock so this is a masculine energy that is taking charge because it's almost like they're forced to there could be a fight the tower is whatever this event is it's 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 a uh, it's abrupt it's uh it's a surprise it's a shock it's disruptive so there's going to be a disruptive change in a commitment we have somebody here that cannot restrain themselves they cannot restrain themselves one more card Seven of Wands reverse. And the Seven of Wands reverse is stepping down from a position or giving up a position. Okay. It's, it's, uh, it is stepping down. It's quitting. It's giving up. So somebody is giving up on a situation they have been fighting for. They've been uh, trying to make something work, holding their ground. But this is it. Okay. This is it. It is. This is the end. Okay, this is the end. This is the end. Okay, the Six of Wands is victory after sorrow. It's the end of the competition. It's the end of the battle. It's the end of the conflict. The war is over. So something is definitely happening where, you know, somebody is ta making a decision. There could be a change in position with the Seven of Wands reverse. And we have the Knight of Pentacles, which definitely can be a change in position. Six of Wands, this is a hero, this is somebody that is, this is recognition. You may be getting some recognition. I feel like you are going to be getting some recognition. I feel like you've been engaging with some sort of competition. You've been in some sort of competition or you've been in some sort of conflict with somebody. It's over. It's over. It's finally over. It's finally over. It may be, you may definitely need time to heal. Temperance and the strength card reverse right together. Okay, you can't fight it. There's, you, you, and don't fight it. Seven of Wands reverse is don't fight this change. Don't fight this change. Allow it with the Temperance card. Allow it to happen, okay? The Knight of Pentacles, for some of you, could be an offer that's coming in. This is a solid, stable, real offer, okay? You may be getting an offer from somebody that is loyal, that is faithful, that wants to build a foundation or something. I mean, you maybe, and maybe you just need to allow it to happen. Um, don't resist it. Don't resist it. You know, let your guard down. Some of you need to let your guard down. Maybe you have an emperor that is coming in. This is somebody that is a leader that, that you know, I, mean, I don't know if you know, I mean, there could be a reconciliation here for some of you. Temperance can be a reconciliation. I don't know. We definitely have a leader here that is taking charge. This person, it feels like they're ready to stop fighting or they're ready to, uh, they don't want to fight anymore, you know, whatever this is. I think this is definitely the end of a battle. If it's not a reconciliation, it could be, definitely be somebody new. Absolutely. But you need to allow and accept things to happen. There is an older man here. This is an older man, and it's an older man that is making a decision. This is not a young man, okay? This is an older man that is making a decision, okay? This person is stepping down from a position or they're being taken out of a position. There is going to be a change. You're gonna be receiving something even better than you had. Do not resist it. Do not resist it. I mean, the Six of Wands is somebody that is noble, okay? This is somebody who has fought, you know, a good fight. This is somebody that doesn't give up, okay? This is somebody that, uh, follows through there is some sort of recognition here as well so um, I feel like there is somebody coming towards you that is done playing games this person doesn't want to play games anymore maybe they were a skilled player I also feel like <laughs> for some of you I mean that devil card is toxic and the Ace of Swords is severing ties. It's truth. It's truth. The sword, that's the sword that cuts. It's the, it's the sword of truth. It's the sword of power. So there is definitely going to be a very powerful event that changes your circumstances. 
It does have to do with a masculine that is taking charge, that is making a decision. This, and, and I feel like this person has been fighting it. They've been fighting it. They've been, I don't know, maybe they were forced to stay in a situation, maybe for because of money reasons. Maybe they were having money problems. I mean, the King of Pentacles reverse could be money problems. Somebody that, you know, had money problems. Anyhow, there's definitely going to be a change, and I think it's going to go in your favor. I do think it's going to go in your favor. Good luck.